Okay, so we are here, we're about to start this painting. Um, I've mixed all the colors in the previous video to have a light, medium and dark color range. Um, and now it's about showing you how to apply the color to the canvas. So I've got water and a brush on the side here. I'm going to start with the larger brush um, and apply my medium tone. We'll start with the forehead. So the first layers of painting are always quite infuriating because they still uh, can be quite transparent. Um, mine will be more transparent than yours will because of the medium being different. Gouache is, like I said, almost like a watercolor. Alright, so that's the medium tone. If I now want to add the darker tone, I'm basically going to blend it in from the sides. Right, you'll see it's valuable to have all your paints mixed at the same time so that while it's still wet you can blend it. So now if I go for my lighter tone, um, I can still pick up some of that medium tone that was there. Okay, back to the medium tone. And so on and so forth. I'm going to continue with all the skin and leave the eyes and mouth and nose for last uh, but I'll be fast forwarding just so that you can get the gist of the whole thing. All right. Okay, now it's the fun part. We get to a smaller brush and now you can start doing details. In fact, I don't think this brush is even small enough for me, but we'll give it a go. Um, um, my palette currently looks like this because I keep mixing new colors. All right, so you'll see as you go along, you'll get more adept at doing this. I'm going to start with the whites of the eyes. Um, because they are not completely white everywhere and you're going to see that now. So in order to have a highlight in the eye, which it has, to make it look glassy, you kind of need to put in quite a bit of grey around your main highlight. And to start off with it might make the person look a little bit ill, um, but in the end it will really work to push that glassiness. So I've just made a light grey here. The main highlight is there, so I'm leaving that point. Okay, and let's do the other side. Spooky much. Okay, 
Okay, we'll bring back some highlights again later. For the blacks of the eyes, I'm using pure black. It hasn't been mixed with anything. And now to revisit these highlights, I'm literally just drawing plain white on here. Okay, details on the nostrils. I'm going with umber mixed with a little bit of black. So it's dark but not too dark to start off with. Alright, now for the mouth, I'm going to start with the real pink part of it. So I'm using vermilion and white, so making more of an orange, but I'll pick up when we do the second layer in oil. I'll pick it up with a nice red, the bright oil um, red. Okay, then black, vermilion, quite a bit of vermilion, and a little bit of white is going to give me almost that purple that we've got happening. All right, the next step, I'm just going to literally block out the background with any color. I think I'm going to go more of a blue color, blue-gray. And then we're going to continue with oil paint. All right, we now have the underpainting um, finalized. Next step is oil, my favorite. Um, so in the meantime, what you should do, it's good practice, is to clean all your brushes and everything. Because this is water-based, it's quite easy to clean. Um, and you're going to wait for this to dry completely before you start with oil. All right, see you for the next episode.